There is a bug versus tree battle going on in parts of the Northwest Metro. Now, the emerald ash borer continues to be a problem, and now as Eric Nelson explains, one local city has a new way to fight the pest. This tiny insect can topple a huge tree. Once it ran out of food out of that tree, it just went to wherever the next ash tree was. The emerald ash borer is causing havoc across the U.S., including the Northwest Metro. It's good information for a resident to be able to look in and see what's going on in my neighborhood. What trees are being treated? What isn't? How close is it? Plymouth has declared war on the emerald ash borer, firing a preemptive strike against this destructive pest. Before this, I was telling people have a plan. Now I'm saying implement the plan. Plymouth now tracks infestation with an interactive map on the web. Now they can track this visually and they can really see how close they are to the site. Red dots are infected trees, blue dots are treated trees, and green is untreated. Residents can chart this on their computer. It also may give you some information of, should I treat my tree then? If you see a lot of trees around you, hey, it might be worth it then, because your whole neighborhood is going to be protected. The eastern shore of Medicine Lake is ground zero for this insect invasion. Six trees have EAB, and two have been removed from a boulevard near the shoreline. If it starts heading north, these people that have green trees might have to decide quicker than later, do I want to treat them or do I want to just cut them down? The cost to treat these trees is between $150 and $250, depending on the size of the tree. It requires five to six treatments spread out over a decade. The total cost is roughly $1,000, or you could just cut it down. That is exactly what Glenn Anderson did. So all I have left is two ash trees in the yard. As he removed six ash trees. We'll just cut it up and take it over to the city of Plymouth waste yard and let them grind it up. Unfortunately, the emerald ash borer can alter the look of a neighborhood. Yes, it'll definitely change it just like the elm trees did when they all left. That's just one of them things that just happens. In Plymouth, I'm Eric Nelson, Channel 12 News. Plymouth residents can enter their address into the database and then update the city on whether the trees in their yard have been treated or not.